lot of people worked on this game. Welcome to Let's Try Rabby Ribby. Rabby Ribby was actually released uh, two days ago um, of the time of this recording. And I've actually been looking forward to this game for a little while now because it's A, a Dojin game, B, a Metroidvania, and C, stars a bunny lady. I, I'm hard pressed to think of a game better tailored for me. The game, as you can tell honestly just by looking at the title screen here, is perhaps going to be a little fan y which I'm not as fond of. I'm hoping it doesn't get too bad, but I'm going to be playing this game blind. Straight up blind. Um, I actually had to play a very little, small amount of the intro in order to make sure I could record the game and get the game running and functioning and all of that. And I ended up playing a little bit more than I wanted to play, but recording also wasn't agreeing with it because the game has a variable frame rate, but also depends on a consistent on a consistent frame rate for gameplay purposes. And Fraps doesn't agree with that at all. So I'm recording I'm resorting to recording with Camtasia, but that means the quality is going to suffer and in longer videos we're going to start to get a lot of um, smearing and really bad visual issues. So something else I have to keep in mind. Um, this game was re uh, was developed by Cree Spirit, was published by Sakai Project, and was released for $17.99, though it is currently 10% off at $16.19. That ends on February 4th. I don't know if this video will be up by then. But yeah, um, just from what I've read on the game, it's... I had high hope, hopes, but not necessarily high expectations. But given the reviews and what I've read of the game thus far, it looks like, despite that one might think it's going to be just very fan y very anime game for the sake of making something, it's actually a really solid game with a heavy, heavy emphasis on exploration. So we're going to see. We're going to check this out. We're going to play us some Rabby Ribby. Um, the first thing, small note, that I will note is on the menu here, when I press right, you have to wait for that little bar to go out all the way before you can go to the next toggle. So I can't just, like, mash, like, hey, the options is the sixth over, one, two, three, four, five. Like, no, you have to go, uh... Um, they give you a fair number of options. If you change pretty much any of these, it'll move the window back to its default position and kind of like reload the game, which on one hand I can understand the necessity of, on the other hand it's really irritating because it puts it on my other monitor and I want to play on this monitor, so I have to drag it back every single time. I've also lowered the window size down to um, three, like 75%, which I'm hoping I can find a way to play this game at full resolution, but I'm doing that as a precaution to keep Camtasia's keep Camtasia from like bugging the crap out. So we're gonna look into recording this thing better in the future. Um, controls. I don't have a gamepad plugged in. Remap. If you select remap and keyboard, it'll straight up start asking you like, "Hey, what for this button? This button? This button?" You can real quick look at what all the buttons are, but if you press any button, it'll assign it to up, and then the next one to down. So you have to go like home F8 in order to back out. Um, systemization or system optimization, display quality or display difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because y'all are y'all are gonna know what difficulty I'm playing at. And then the game actually runs in English, Japanese, and I think like Mandarin Chinese or something. They actually ask you right at the beginning. Ah, uh, yeah, Japanese, Chinese, other Chinese, back to English. 
Tech speed, let's speed that crap up. V-Sync, I'm gonna turn off. Oh, if I hit save, it's gonna mess with everything. And then, like, jump it back over to the other monitor. Um, a lot of these options are locked, but we're just gonna hit us a story mode up. I've never saved. That's my autosave. And there's actually four difficulties. There's, like, just looking at the ones down below, there's a boss rush, there's a speedrun mode, which the speedrun is effectively the game, just without cutscenes. So that's cool. Um, a heavy, heavy emphasis on exploration. You can just about ignore the story and just kind of go wherever you want to go, which is super cool. And it even mentions bullet hell games. Yeah, we're gonna have some... We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna play on normal. I remember somebody saying that they played on novice and actually wasn't very good at, like, bullet curtain games. So they ended up playing on hard. I'm gonna take the middle ground and play on normal. But, uh, let's start this crap up. Somebody's in a box. She made it out! So, as she explains here in just a second, um, she was actually a regular rabbit, and somehow was turned into a rabbit person. So she's very confused because her owner, and apparently somebody else... Yeah, as she's... And you occasionally get a shot like this that makes it seem a little more visual novel-esque. And I'm really not big on visual novels, so... Honestly, I'm more excited to get to the part where I'm running around clubbing guys. But hey, story! Um, tell me what you guys think about the tech speed, because I also know that I generally read pretty darn fast. And I'm like, I'm even waiting, intentionally trying to wait a second after each one of these runs before I skip to the next one. But, um, if, just, just to slow me down, like if you guys, if some of you guys can't keep up, I could lower the tech speed. Okay, yeah, uh, left and right to move, ZXC does things, V also does something, but I haven't encountered that yet. And you can press escape to just straight up skip things. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bunny. I can jump. Can't jump quite that high. But we can go out the top. And we even have a little mini-map in the corner. Okay, I can go over here. She has got some friggin' floofy hair. Now she's mentioned Miru and Master. I'm yet to determine if those are the same person or two different. I originally assumed it was two different, but they may actually, like Miru, just be her master's name. For a game that I was expecting to be, like, super bubbly and happy and everything, like, 
for one, the game has gotten a huge amount of praise for being, like, actually really good. And just kind of, like, I think some, to quote one of the reviewers, Moe Garbage. But... Like, this is a really somber intro, all things considered. I'm a little bunny, look at me walking. The crap am I? The crap is this. A lot of toys, though. A couple little action figures up there. One of them is a bunny. And that's a shadow person. Mist or the Different colored text for each character. I'm not sure which color that was. Like, I think that was a new person. I have not beaten the prologue, just so you know, as far as, like, how far I've played. Not even made it to chapter one. I can't tell what you are. You've got, like, droopy ears, but, like, you could be a bunny or a dog? Okay, that lady either likes us or bunnies. Okay, so ob also obviously the front lo the front end of the game is going to be very front loaded. I did not control her walking over there. The front side of the game is going to be very front loaded with like cutscene and stuff. It's going to open up for us to be running around a lot more here. In Beach. Yeah, we can't do much. We can walk around. Can talk to you. Press up next to a guy to talk to him. Morning, it's preparation time. Can I talk to you? Ah, they're gonna stop me. Oh, I wonder if I can press X. Let's skip through that. Okay, well, we're gonna run around for a little while, see what happens. Yeah, look at me jumping. That's a little bunny. Look at that little bunny. Little bunny hurts you. 
Can't jump on them. We have no means of offense against them right now. So we're just gonna have to avoid them. Okay, we've got our HP there in the lower left-hand corner. It's got a bar and a number. Yeah, I figured that one out. Protection! Okay, C is your beat stuff button. You just one-shot all these guys. Why? Here's Bunny. Okay, I'm gonna need some kind of morph ball technology to get in there. Ah. You cannot attack in the air, which is a little troublesome. I can't go anywhere if I jump. As far as I can tell, you cannot go down through here. Oh no. Okay, I made it. But one thing... Ooh. The little tutorial for the weapon actually mentioned that the weapon mechanics are sort of complicated, actually. Come on, get me up there with that mushroom. in that um, the more things you hit with it, the more your weapon levels up. I think this increases damage, but I'm not actually sure. But it also lets you do some additional techniques. Because, like, right now all I can do is swing. That's all I got. And it'll extend your combo, whereas right now all I've got is a three-hit combo. So you get a lot of nice things. Oh, I guess I'm going down here. Um, you also have the SP gauge. Doctor. Dang it. I'm gonna have to stand in front of her like a reasonable person. It's like something nice down there. Let's have the little SP gauge that refills. It's not really a big deal. It's not something you have to, like, dramatically manage. Um, at least not that I've found yet. I'm gonna need you to hop off because this flower attacks. Eat a flower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so far, it hasn't seemed like something you need to manage. Hammer attack range increase. Yeah, you can see that little effect flying off my swing now. Yeah, not something you have to manage. Mostly just something that, um... It kind of prevents you from just wailing on a boss. Or an enemy, for that matter. Standing under the save point will recover HP. Oh, okay, that's how you save. I didn't actually read it last time. Dude, that save completed. Hmm. Eh. It's shiny. Can't do anything with it, but it's shiny. But yeah, mostly it just prevents you from, like, attacking and wailing on a boss, and you actually have to pay attention to, like, what your combo and your order of attacks. Stupid flower. Shoot bubbles. Frickin' bubbles! Oh, you're back. Whee! Man, look at those flips I did. I'm gonna do that again. Wah! Hammer level increase. Up and C on the ground. Oh yeah, you can do an uppercut.
Miss Kitty. Yeah, I, I guess she is a cat lady. See, it's weird because we can't tell if her being a cat lady is out of the norm or if, like, Erina is used to seeing her as being a cat. And then she went through the same transformation we did. Because Erina is a bunny and has a very limited understanding of how anything functions. Wait, no, no, we're an actual... Third time? What have you been dealing with? Her name Coco? Okay, welcome to your first boss. Now, after you hit the enemy, they actually have a... brief invulnerability period. Like, you can watch while she's blinking. And, of course, the fight is going to get more and more tricky as it goes on. I mean, quad combo. Ugh. Ah! All right, can't hit her. Invis invisible. Mm. Oh dang! Oh no, she's gone. Oh no, bullets! That's a lot of bullets. Okay, we did it. We did it! And, like, that fight kind of started out pretty tame, but, like... That fight started out pretty tame, but I pretty quickly told you what we're gonna be in, in for. Admittedly, what you're saying is pretty crazy stuff, though. I got a carrot! Carrot bomb! Throw some carrot bombs! Boom! Okay, down in C to use them, they can level up as well. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hammer level increase. Down and see in the air to use hammer drill. That's cool. Now we can bomb things and keep going places. Okay, I'm gonna save. That save completed is like straight out of friggin' Super Metroid or something. Alright, until next time everybody, we're starting out. Um, spent a lot of time on the title screen and a lot of time in cutscene, but I think near the end here we're starting to see what we're in for. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this game has in store. Until next time, everybody. Man, look at her hair flute.